Hey YouTube, so I wanted to update and talk a little bit about um, job hunting. I'm job hunting right now, uh, which is interesting <laughs> when you're trans. Um, so yeah, it's probably kind of weird because I know just like two weeks ago I updated about how great my job was going and I was so happy I had it and everybody was actually pretty cool and all that good stuff. And that's still true. Um, I'm not leaving because I have any particular beef with the restaurant that I'm at now. Um, it's just, it mostly comes down to like hours. It was like, I don't know, last semester I took this job that was like way below my skill level and paid for shit and had these shit hours just because everything was so chaotic. I was just starting to transition. I was stressed out about coming out to my parents um, and trying to navigate going back to school. I went back to school at the same time I like started hormones and everything was just a big clusterfuck and you know, this job was just like good enough, paid the bills, sort of, and it was it was fine. And then the fact that everybody wound up being pretty cool there let me stay there for longer than I thought. And it was, I still look at it as a really positive thing. But, um, well, I'll put it this way, last semester, because I, I work at nights and then I go to school at night too, I didn't actually get a day off, like a proper day off, for three months. <laughs> that was shitty. I don't really want to do it again this semester. So anyways, long story short, I'm looking for something. Um, and it's interesting. It's a weird little hurdle to get around. Um, firstly, because I suddenly don't have any references. Like, my boss right now is the only person who would know what somebody was talking about if they called them up and said, hey, what can you tell us about Felix? Everybody knows me as my birth name. Um, which is similar to what came up when I was doing that stupid school assignment a few weeks ago. It sucks. Um, yep. Not much I can do about that. And, um, yeah, the other part is, again, with a name, just, like, explaining it to employers. I mean, I walk into an interview super ambiguous. People don't know what pronouns to use. And then even assuming I do get hired, I have to go through the whole fun part of explaining why the name that I gave them isn't the name that they should put on a paycheck. I've been through that a few times. It's awkward. It sucks. Um, there's a lot of raised eyebrows. There's a lot of really awful questions. And it is shitty. Um, but, you know, I I decided to go ahead and start looking for a new job anyways, uh, despite all of that. Um, just because, you know, I really don't want to have another semester like I did last semester. I don't want to spend days cooped up in my apartment and then stay out till 2 in the morning. It sucks. Um, yeah, I have, oh right, that's the other part. Um, I, I have an interview already for tomorrow um, with this really cool company I'd never heard of. It popped up on my Facebook feed like organically just yesterday. Or no, my girlfriend showed it to me, that's what it was. Um, it's a moving company, but they only hire like women and trans people. And they, they really like have a mandate to hire people who face a lot of barriers and a lot of discrimination. And it seems super cool. So I emailed them today and I'm going to go interview there tomorrow. Um, also moving. People who know me know this about me. I move all the time. When I was a kid, we were moving constantly. I've had like 30 or 40 moves. Maybe not that many. I don't know. A lot of moves in my short so far life. So I'm pretty fucking good at moving too. So I'm really excited about that. It sounds better than the other shit I've applied for. Like, I don't know, I applied for Old Navy this morning. Because I have a trans friend who works at Old Navy and says it's pretty cool and they're not assholes, so I was like, that's good enough. <laughs> Anyways, wish me luck. I will keep you updated about it.